Hi, I'm back with you today to talk to you again about working from home. This will be my sixth video in the series and this is going to be my second video on talking about looking after your mental and emotional well-being. Last time I talked to you about how crucial it was to do that, how that can affect your work and your effectiveness in your day. I talked about the need to be intentional about it, to set aside time, to start off small with maybe five to ten minutes and the possibility of wanting to build it up into your day, into your daily routine. I talked about how it's just as important as looking after your physical health um, and I gave you the first simple tip which was to spend a few minutes every day on a calming and mind absorbing activity. And whether that be meditating or watching nature or doing something with your hands. Today, the second tip I have for you, a simple way to boost your emotional and mental well-being is to take time to be thankful. So you're looking for things in your life, in your workplace, in your household to be grateful for. This focuses your mind on positivity, which in which improves your mood, improves your mental health and can improve your overall well-being. So you're looking to choose three to five things that you can be thankful for. Write them down, record them in some way, mark them in some way, whether you write them down and put them in a box or whether you write them in a notebook, speak them out into the air or go over and over them in your mind. The focusing on these positive things will really change your mood and your mental health. The kinds of things that I'm talking about so far, these first two simple ways, can seem strange at first because they're not normally part of your natural everyday routine, most people anyway. But what, as with physical activity, when you first start to exercise physically, it can be difficult at first, but it gets easier at the more you do it. This is the same as you get into your routine, as you start to do these things, they do become easier and more natural. For me, I often do what I call a thankfulness walk. So I've been doing this in the school holidays, especially since I've been working from home. I will take time out in my day to go a walk just for about 20 minutes and on my way out, on the outward leg of my walk, I will choose three to five things to be thankful for and I will say them out loud under my breath, but I'll definitely be focusing on them. And then on the inward journey, I just enjoy the walk, I pay attention to nature. But for me, that walk is one of my ways of looking after myself, looking after my mental and emotional health. So choose your things to be thankful for and focus on them. My last simple tip for boosting your emotional and mental health is taking time to connect. So taking time to connect with other people in your life. I'm talking about meaningful connection. I'm talking about connections that will cause you to laugh, that will encourage you, that will give you more life, that will boost you in, in, in a natural way. And in this current situation, we can't go out to catch up and, and, and have contacts, we need to do video calls and phone calls. So I would encourage you to do a video call now and again because it, it does make a difference to see the face of the person that you're talking to. That's especially true if you are on your own during this lockdown, but even if you are in a household of people, I would, I would suggest you still do this. You want quality time with them but you also want to connect with people outside of your household during this time because your normal family relationships, your normally household relationships are under extraordinary pressure right now and um, being in each other's space all the time. So to dilute that pressure, take the pressure off a little, look for that connection with someone else outside of your household for those few minutes every day. It gives you a sense of a bigger perspective outside of the four walls that you're in. 
If you found this working from home video helpful to you, enjoyed hearing my own experiences and the simple tips that I have, please give me a thumbs up and um, feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below, any questions you might have about my experiences of working from home, anything else that you would like to hear about from about working from home or the dynamics within the household when you're all in the same space together. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the little subscribe button and hit the little bell too and then you'll get notifications of my videos when I upload them. Until next time, bye.